Action set to take the opening face off. Here we go, game number two underway at the bunker in the Powerade Center. Hodgson wins the drop, Italian control the puck. Clark slides it over to Grajev on the far side. Subban watching him right to the front, they score! Cody Hodgson, it's 1-0 just 10 seconds in for the opening period. Oh my, what a start for the Italian. Well, I was just going to say, Doug, when we had a stoppage in play, it'd be interesting to see how the Belleville Bulls came out to respond in the opening 5-10 minutes of this hockey game after getting behind the eight ball early in game one as far as chances went. And there's your answer right there, the Battalion. You know they'd be ready on home ice. Cody Hodgson just 10 seconds in, and it's one nothing Battalion, just like that. To the blue line, big save, rebound, Murphy, Ross Duchesne. Turnaround shot, Tansky in the corner now. That's Hodgson from Grunchen. Put the shoulder down, Duchesne turns around and scores. The Brampton Battalion, two quick goals. Just a mere 42 seconds into the opening period. It's 2-0 Battalion. Well, if anybody saw this at the beginning of game two, anyone saw this coming, absolutely unbelievable. Just moments before Duchesne shelves it, Mike Murphy came up with not one, but two huge saves, Doug. The Battalion continue to pressure the puck. Great job from Duchesne here, fighting off Sean Lalone, just spins and fires. Really eerily similar to what he did back in game one. Able to go over the shoulder of Mike Murphy and we get another look at it right here. Great job as Malone was all over. Tip off, battling behind the net. Palmieri trying to get it out in front. Stajan thwarts that effort. Belleville solid on the puck deep. 10 seconds left in the power play. To the point it comes, Pajot shot, they score! Cutting the lead in half, Dick Pajot from the blue line on the power play. Just what I alluded to, Doug, after the Anthony Peluso penalty. A horrible start for the Belleville Bulls, giving up two goals in 42 seconds. But moments after that, they get a power play to get a chance to get back on even terms, and that's exactly what they do. Nick Pajot with a bullet from the point. When it comes to Matt Kang. Kang outlet pass, Jason Dale. Kang hammered along the boards by Corey Tanaka. Out in front, Jason Dale scores! Mike Murphy gets a bad bounce off the boards. Just doesn't play it right. You're right, Doug. No question about Owana. In fact, there it is. Comes out. Completely misses the puck. And as we take a look at it here, he just throws it blindly in front of the net. Jason Dale, it actually goes off the stick of Bjorn Krupp and past Mike Murphy. As we get another look at it. Obviously, not having track of that puck. Completely threw him off. Wasn't able to get set. And to make matters even worse, off his own defense was sticking into the five hole. And George Burnett has gone to Philip Grubauer with 16-22 left in the first period. Mike Murphy's now on the Belleville Bulls bench. Almost picked off through the middle. Corey Tanaka's got the break. Gabe's got to hurry to get back. Tanaka to the back end. Big save from Thomas McCollum. <laughs> Duchesne across the blue line. Duchesne lugging it deep. Battalion would dearly love to get one here. Perov scores! Oh my, 4-1. What a rocket from Perov. A rocket top shelf, Doug, and they've had so much success doing that in this series. We saw it with Matt Duchesne in game one. We've seen it again from Matt Duchesne tonight upstairs. And then it's Ken Perov from the point with a wicked slopper, top shelf. Credit to Scott Tansky in front of the net, creating some traffic there. Four on four hockey, Ken Perro. Over the puck at the Brampton blue line. Stage and ties him up. Pither trying to get it ahead for Tank Ready. Slides it down low. Return back to the back end. They score! And a penalty will be coming against the Battalion as well. So the Bulls have cut the lead in half and should go right back to the power play. Well, that was an absolutely gorgeous give and go there from the Belleville Bulls. Dunk. Finished off by Luke Hither. Great work by Tate Brady down low. He feeds Brian Cameron and throws it back in front of Hither, but Hither started that whole sequence, able to get it along the wall to Tang Brady, who passed to Cameron, and Hither finishes it off. And obviously, they're molted in the corner. This is a big, tough line for the Bulls. Loose puck in front. McCollum, Stone Cold Robin. There's the puck, went off McCollum's glove, but here it is in front. 
Puck came loose. Luke Petter just throws it in front of the net. Boom to the front of the net. That hits a body of Erickson. Peluso gets it away to Grodjev through center. Backhand pass. Hudson's behind the defenseman. Hudson pulls it in. In front, they score! Evgeny Grodjev makes it 5-2 on a nifty passing play from Cody Hudson. Sean Lalonde, Doug, he gambled big time and he lost as he tried to step up and get a piece of that puck as we're going to look at it here. Pass initially a little too far for Cody. Lalonde went to the intercept, missed it, and Hodgson able to take it over. Beautiful pass in front of the net to get it back to Grachev. He goes top shelf, no chance for Philippe Grubauer, and the battalion busted back to a three-goal advantage. Kang in the corner, gets it to Dale. Stajan heading to the front of the net. Kang throws it back to the point. Clerks for a shot. They score! Thomas Stajan on the deflection. It's 6-2 to Italian. Gorgeous tip from Thomas Stajan in front of the net, Doug. They've just done such a great job here for, for the first two games of getting to the net, wearing down the Belleville Bowl defense, creating traffic in front. And that's an absolutely gorgeous tip from Thomas Stajan. And no chance for Philly Grubauer as he just gets caught going the wrong way. As it's Matt Clark with the perfect shot on net, nice and low. Stajan able to get a good stick on it. It tips. Grachev, look at the burst of speed. He's got Duchesne with him. Grachev to the front of that, and he scores! And Kenny Grachev makes it 7 2. Uh, the offensive juggernaut that is the battalion continues to strike here in game number two of Jenny Grachev. Beautiful play, and you'll see it right here. Just as enough of a fake, he holds up just enough to get Grubauer to commit. As we get a look at it here, goes right through tip-off, who had no chance. And like I said, there was just enough of a head fake from Grachev to get Grubauer to open up the wickets. And he goes five hole as Grubauer thought he was going to go cross ice. Give him a rest, let him refocus, get back to the drawing board for game three Sunday night. I'll tell you, I'd be awfully, awfully surprised if we get a fight here. Yep, Stajan and Lalone have dropped the gloves, and you can see those guys squaring off along the boards. I think Lalone got the first penalty to start this one off. He gets the left hand free. Stajan holding him off to the left. Lalone throws the uppercut. Stajan trying to come back over top. Both guys connecting, but Lalone is thrown with both lefts and rights. Down the uppercut, and the linesman come in and break it up. Well, certainly sitting beside us is uh, Matt Stajan trailing it. Yeah, I, it's cousin Thomas, so he, and you know what? He can hold his own. Yeah, well, Matt's been here. He was signing a few autographs in the second intermission here for the fans here at the Power 8 Center. But nice showing from Thomas. He came up with a goal here in this third. Mackey gets tied up by Sam Carrick. Taken away by Peluso. Six seconds left. Peluso right for second length of the ice. Off the back. Pass and that's does it. Two seconds left. And two more here on the third stage. And Andrachev with his second of the game. Two games to not lead, Doug. Two games to nothing, heading back to Belleville at Yardman Arena, where the Bulls have their backs against the wall. I say that only because you've got to win on home ice, but this series could be a very short one. The Italian win it 7-2 with an offensive explosion in the first period. We're going to take a break here on OHL Primetime. We'll come back with our wrap-up after this. A huge 7-2 victory for the Italian in Game 2. Taking a 2 nothing lead. Yeah, obviously, uh, confidence has a lot to do with it as well. Uh, this team must be uh, firing on us all cylinders. You know, a lot of guys were saying they were pretty, it was a pretty loose atmosphere in the practice. Uh, and uh, coming out today, it certainly didn't show, it didn't hurt it. I was, I knew it was coming. <laughs> you, <laughs> you could see it, you could see it out of the corner of your eye coming, folks. And uh, you know what? It couldn't be prevented. And that's why we got the towels here for Rogers. And Cody gets the, uh, gets the proverbial, not really proverbial, but anyway, the annual shaving cream uh, in the face. But uh, as I was saying, Cody, um, you, got, you got to feel pretty loose.